Mo, are you a mentally strong woman? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I am. I don't think you are either. Uh-uh. All right, so I saw this article, immediately clicked on it because I had to read it. 13 things mentally strong women don't do. Mm. I think sometimes we focus on the things you do and we get so burdened with having to do stuff. There's actually a laundry list of things that you should not do or that you don't do. And this is according to a psychotherapist and best-selling author. I found this on CNBC.com from Amy Morin. And when I, I always, I check out these lists and if the first couple don't like snag me, I'm like, this list is stupid. This is a good list. Okay. I was, yeah, I was like, all right, I'm on board with this. So again, 13 things mentally strong women don't do. So Cassie and Abby, go ahead and we'll, we'll keep tabs with your fingers if you don't do these things, okay? It's like never have I ever. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Put a finger down. <laughs> Put a finger down if you don't compare yourself to other people. Put a finger down if I don't. Okay. Yeah. So measuring your happiness, wealth, and appearance against other people drains you of mental strength. The only person you should compare yourself is to the person you were yesterday. Ooh, facts. I well, like she, that. She was better than me, so. <laughs> yeah, I, de- I definitely compare myself worse to other day. people. I mean, missed who I was yesterday. <laughs> All right. The next one, put a finger down if you don't insist on perfection. Mm-mm. Both, all the fingers are still up in studio. Yeah. I got some yeah. jazz hands going on. <laughs> so all those saying I'm a bit of a, of a perfectionist may feel like a badge of honor. True perfectionism will hold you back. Establish high expectations for yourself while also accepting that mistakes are part of the learning process. Mm. Oh, losers, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Just accepting the loser loss. mentality. All right, I think you both are going to put a finger down for this one, okay? You don't see vulnerability as a weakness. Oh. No, yeah. I definitely see it as a weakness. Are you serious? Absolutely. It's what our show is based on. We're vulnerable <laughs> every single day on the air. This is a safe space, but I think in like, for me, I have found little baggage in the real world. Like mm-hmm. just being vulnerable with people close to you is has not been great for me. Yes. Yeah. I'm going to put it down because I'm trying this new thing where I see the good in people, mm-hmm. even though it backfires every time. And I'm going to believe that vulnerability is actually going to make me a better, more interesting person. It says it takes strength to put yourself out there and risk being hurt. Whether you're the first to say, I love you, or you ask a question that might feel embarrassing, being vulnerable can be the key to forming healthier happier relationships. Okay. Mm. All right. Well, we have different definitions of vulnerable, so I'll go ahead and put a finger down then. Okay, yay. Okay. Yeah, we have some fine. fingers down. There All right. you go. Next one on the list. You don't let self-doubt stop you from reaching your goal. Oh, yeah, that's a no for me, dog. I'm keeping them all up. <laughs> <laughs> I'll put a finger down for that. Yeah. I think I used to, but mm-hmm. now, no. Self-doubt is normal, and you don't have to let it stop you from pushing ahead. Your brain will doubt your competence, but don't believe everything you think. Oh, okay. Mm, yeah, deep. Abby, the longer you work, and I'm not talking about in this room, like in other industries I've worked with or people on the outside, you realize there are dumb people <laughs> in really high positions of power. Like any, like other places I've worked, and I'm just like, okay, well, I'm way smarter than you and you're very high up, so we're good. And I think you'll you'll come to see that. And once you do, you're like, <laughs> I got this. Okay. All right, again, 13 things uh, mentally strong women don't do. Your next one is, put a finger down, if you don't overthink everything. Mm. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Y'all overthinking it right now. You can't. <laughs> <laughs> Keep them up. Yeah. Very fair point. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, the fact that you all took a little too long to put that finger down. Just leave it up. Leave it up. Um, ruminating, which is something I was so, so bad at it and was one of the reasons why I got on my anxiety medication. Ruminating has been linked to depression and it can prevent you from taking positive action. Engage in problem solving, but don't allow yourself to get caught into a cycle of thinking too much. Mm. Okay. All right, next. You don't avoid tough challenges. Hmm. I'm going to put a finger down for that. I think you should. Yeah. I, I'm realizing a lot of this stuff like I don't do anymore because I just stopped caring. Yeah. And I'm not sure what that says about me. So you do avoid tough challenges? No, no, no more because I just don't care. Okay, <laughs> so you don't. So you put a finger down. Yeah. You mm-hmm. don't avoid tough challenges. Be willing to face your fears and step up to the plate. Challenge yourself to grow a little stronger every day and you'll build confidence in your ability to do hard things. Okay, I'm going to put a finger down, but mostly because this finger is starting to cramp. <laughs> <laughs> All right, next. You don't fear breaking the rules. 
Mm. Cassie, you cannot put a fingernail. That's a tough one for Mm. me. What rule? Like, if it's a written law rule, then I fear it. But if it's like a societal (laughs) rule, then F you. Let me read what she wrote. Whether it's an unwritten rule about gender norms or it's a job you're not quite qualified for, don't allow gender norms, societal expectations, and rules to stifle your growth. Oh, I'll put that down. That's fine. Yeah, Yeah, I'll put it down. This was, I was actually looking back on my Snapchat memories and I realized it was a year ago last week that I applied for this job. Oh. And I, I literally sent a text to my mom. I was like, I'm not going to get this job. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. All right, next. You don't put others down to lift yourself up. No. Oh, oh, finger down. Finger down. Putting others down won't land you at the top of the pecking order for long. You'll only keep your position until someone puts you down. When you lift other people up and become a genuine cheerleader, you'll be more likely to succeed. All right, we just got a couple more left. You don't let others... Limit your potential. Yeah, finger down. Yeah. Don't let rejection or harsh criticism stop you. You don't need everyone else to believe in you as long as you believe in yourself. Mm. Mm. That's, what, that's what that one means. I'm a halfway on that because it depends on who's criticizing me. If it's a if it's a loser, I don't care. If it's like somebody I respect, that's gonna if it's Bert, I'll be I'll be ruminating on that forever. <laughs> <laughs> All right, three more. You don't blame yourself when something goes wrong. Oh, I definitely blame myself. Yeah, I'll be blaming myself all the time. Acknowledge your behavior without blaming your character. Ooh. Ooh. Right? Yeah, that's, Ooh. Good. that's good. What Say- if my character's crappy? Well, then you have other issues. <laughs> oh, <no problem>. <laughs> <laughs> Saying I made a Say I made a bad choice rather than I am a bad person. It's key to helping you learn from your missteps. Yeah. I thought that one. I like that. Good. That's a good one. Um, next one. You don't stay silent. You definitely put a finger down, Cassie. <laughs> <laughs> So I'll read it for you so you can mm-hmm. ponder it. Choosing not to report an incident to the authorities or not standing up to someone who abuses their power doesn't mean you're weak. It's up for you to decide what's best for you, but staying silent can drain you of mental strength. Ooh, I'll mm. put a finger down. I'd like to mm. think in the right situation I would stand up for whoever. Okay. You don't feel bad about reinventing yourself. Oh, oh, I'll put a finger down. I love a good reinvention. Yeah. Um, It says, whether you make a complete career shift at age 30 or you redesign your life at age 60, it's important to engage in personal growth and pursue your dreams. I love you both. This is the last one. Uh Uh You're not going to put a finger down. You don't downplay your success. Mm. Mm. Oh, yeah. mm-hmm. I do be downplaying. Yes, you do. <laughs> I don't have any success. So. Yes, you do. <laughs> don't worry so much about looking arrogant that you refuse to give yourself credit for your hard work and your skills. Practice giving a simple thank you when you're complimented and share your success with others. Oh, yeah. Somebody said the coolest thing on Twitter the other day where it's like, I'm going to give you your flowers, but it's your choice whether or not you want to water them or not. Like if you're going to accept it. Is that a beautiful quote? Yes, because you always talk about it because I got the flower thing from you about wanting to give people their flowers while they're still here. they still smell them. Yeah. Yeah. I love that. Bird Show.